What's going on, guys? Oh, today is Saturday, and I have high bar squats, regular bench press, um, and then a bunch of accessory stuff. I am going to take you guys through my warm up routine and stretching that I do before pretty much every workout. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this little little stretching time. First thing I start with is mixing my pre-workout. Now you're probably wondering why didn't I drink this 30 minutes ago? Well, it takes me about 20 minutes to warm up, stretch, get loose. So I just drink it while I'm warming up. And as I'm drinking this, I'll be stretching, rolling out, etc. Obviously, we're going to be rolling out first. I usually do both my butt cheeks first. You know, straight on to the side. Do about you know, 15 seconds of rolling on each each part. Get in there nice and deep, real nice and deep. Get your muscles all nice and destroyed. And then I go into my hamstrings. Inside a little bit, we can. We get outside just a tad. Then I go to the calf. And you can't really get it too deep. That's how we have the ugly stick, which I'll show you later, because that's part of the warm up. Switch sides, you gotta do both sides obviously. A little bit easier when you have shoes on. I should put my, my shoes back on because I have some grip, but that is what it is. Calf. Then I go to the low back. Get a couple cracks in my back. Feels pretty good. If you have tight lats, which I I don't really, but I roll them out anyways, which that hurts. So I just lay on the side there a little bit. And then I go into the quads. Inner thigh, hip flexor, get up in there. We're done with uh, the foam roller now. The next next uh, mobility warm up part, um, you need a band. Uh, you know, you can do any thickness you want. So you just wrap around about a little bit lower than waist high because you're gonna be kneeling down. Just get your one foot in. You wanna put like right under the butt cheek and then you get down into like a lunge position here and 
you just go forward. I usually go forward, hold it for about five seconds, back, and then again. Really squeezing my glutes, firing them, pushing my hips forward, and then leaning in here, get a little calf stretch. So, switch legs. This is really good for people that sit a lot. Um, because your hip flexors get tight when you sit a lot, so or long periods of time. Uh, even if you don't sit, it's still good to do. Next one I do is like a, a squat. Um, so keep the band in the same spot, put it under both butt cheeks, walk out. Get a little bit wider than your squat stance, probably. You sit back. And I always push my knees out. And since the band's pulling in, it helps stretch out my groin, inner thigh area. It helps me open up my hips, put my knees out, you know. And, you know, you can go farther. Like a sumo stance. I have to lower the band some so I don't slide it up. Same thing there. Put the push the knees out. I got my ugly stick out. I'm gonna hit the calves a little bit. Whatever we didn't get on on that roller. This one um, for the quad again and hip flexors a little bit more. I do a a Bulgarian split squat. So I just go here. Just sit, sitting back into that push through the heel on this opposite of the leg of your you want to push through the heel here really flex the glute at the top good stretch here good stretch in the quad hamstring over here do about five reps good hold So then switch legs. Now for some upper body, um, to finish it off, my legs are all warm, everything, lower body is pretty warm. Um, just grab like a skinny band, not much tension, or you could use like a, a pole, um, just going back here, keep your arms straight, nice and slow, I'm not going to go fast injure yourself or anything with that. Just warm up. You can do like between five and ten. Doesn't hurt to do ten. Next one, arms like straight out and just kind of spreading it, hit the rear delts a little bit. 
Get some, get a little burn in the shoulders there. About 10 reps here. And then the last one, just like a doing arm 90 degrees. Just walking out. Try to keep your this the opposite shoulder back. Here you're gonna feel a good stretch. We're gonna peck there and into the arm a little bit. Depending on how tight you are. Hold it for 15, 20 seconds. Switch sides. Step into it. Get this shoulder back. Do each side like two to three times, and then that's all the workout. That's the, the end of that warm up.